Hey everyone, it's Marshall Mingo from Active TV Network. Today, you're going to get a $10 off coupon. Today only. Okay, it's not really a coupon, but who cares? T -t Today, I got a bunch of messages uh, asking, can we see your workflow? Can we see how you actually work? You seem to get a lot of things done. Can we? Can we? So I got to do one little uh, form today and I figured I'm going to record it and I'm going to edit it. I'm going to show you guys exactly how I work, how I think. Maybe you're going to get something out of it. Maybe. I'm going to put this tutorial on our active TV network slash article section where we have all the scripts video tutorials <clears throat> you can also find it on my youtube channel so subscribe so subscribe so subscribe so subscribe, so subscribe. okay so cache metals uh one of our really great clients uh they have this little section here open an account so if i click it you're gonna get a div pop-up so this is ajax what they want is they want us to make this pretty prettier so how do we make this pretty i'm kind of thinking we're gonna throw in some images maybe uh get rid of this fat border around it what i'm also going to give them is i'm gonna make the page seo friendly that means that this pop-up will have its own keyword tags and its own description. Google will crawl through this page and it's gonna index it within the search engine. Okay, so let's get started. Let's close this uh, open an account pop-up and let's open it inside our Dreamweaver. So how do we know what file it is? If you're browsing through the internet and you wanna find out what a file name of a, a page or a pop-up is, the easiest way to do it is inside IE. For some reason, Firefox doesn't let you do this. So we've got the same page open in the Internet Explorer. And if we click open an account, and you right click and go down to your properties, it's gonna tell you everything there is to know about this page. And what we're looking for is the address URL. And here it is, contact.php. Alternatively, I can do a view source on the page and look for the keywords open an account which is right here and then I simply look at the code and here it is new account dot HTML off the root so let's do a test off the root okay so this is our form it's great what we need to do is we need to make this form prettier now, of course, I already have a repository of images and everything else, so I'm going to be using that to assist me and help me to get this form uh, done. First, we're going to open this file inside our Dreamweaver. I have it already opened, and as you can see, new account.html. Well, first, you know, you can open up Photoshop, you can do a screen capture, and then you can overlay the images, then go back into Dreamweaver and start working on it. Now, I don't really want to do that because I already know in my head what it's sort of gonna look like uh, so to answer uh, people's questions I sometimes don't lay it out in Photoshop and slice it up I just sort of I sort of just start working and I let all the elements sort of line up for me it seems to work most of the time then I'll leave it for about a half hour I'll come back to the page again and usually I'll make a couple of more uh, subtle fixes and then I send it off to the client he approves it or he gives me some more revisions and I go back and forth until they're happy okay so um so the first thing i want to do about this is i don't really like this border too much the slanted font doesn't really work too much anymore maybe get rid of all this text and put an image we still want to make sure that we keep keywords for the search engine optimization so we're, we may have to write a, a paragraph below so let's get started the great thing about um, um working for yourself is that you you know you have a lot of different pages that you've already done and I also have um, a great page that I've done for them so here's a, an extra page that I did so I figured maybe I can take this and instead of creating everything from scratch just take this and modify this uh, until I'm happy with the results so I will go and take this page I'm gonna copy the entire source code and I'm gonna overwrite it in here. Now you always wanna make sure you save a backup of this. Okay, so now if you were to save this and preview it, um, we're gonna see that it's showing this. I really like the layout. We need to change this section and put in our form, and we need to ensure that all the JavaScript is gonna work. Let's flip back 
another loader tip is I constantly undo and redo. The alternative way of doing this is to open up the backup file so you can switch back and forth and copy elements into these elements. So first what I will do is I will delete this table and I will copy this table into it. And I will change this CSS. Okay. And I usually flick back and forth and I like to see changes right away. So that seems to be looking not too bad. Next, I'm um, gonna give it a space, and we're probably gonna merge these two tables. And I'm gonna write in something. Fill. Let's put in their phone number. To add the uh, extra spaces within Dreamweaver, you want to go to characters and click non-break in space. That gives you uh, extra characters. And inside the code, it looks like this. So you could always take this, paste it, and that will also give you spaces. I'm gonna change this button to this one since I know that I always use this. Let's change the width of the button and change this to submit and continue. Now I know that these links up here are already optimized and they have a lot of keywords in there so I will leave this alone. This way if somebody happens to link to this page right off of a search engine then it's still gonna have links to the home page, the store page, the TV page, and the press page. Um, it's got more things in here, so that's good. This is our share button, so let's preview this again. Now I'm pretty sure that if I were to submit this, nothing happens, right? Well, that's because we're missing the form around the entire page and we're missing the JavaScript that controls that page. Well, I'm not going to teach you how to create the JavaScript. We're simply going to go and copy that from the old version of this page and we're going to paste it in. So let's go and get back our backup again. I'm simply undoing things. All right. So the first thing we want to do is see where the form tag begins and it's right here. What I'll do is I'll go to the very first table and I'll paste in the form tag and then I'll go to the very bottom <clears throat> and I will manually close it. There we go. You know you have the form when you see uh, red dotted lines with them dreaming around your tables or your CSS or your divs. Now what we need to do still is we need to get the script that controls this form. So we're going to go into this page, go to the very top, and we're going to manually try and see what's going on. So we've got our head, and then we've got some sort of a script tag. Please input your full name. Okay, so I know that this right here is the script that controls this right here. And what else do we have? Then we have our CSS, and we got some things going on in the body tag. I really don't think we're going to need any of this. And we'll go to the bottom, and we've got some sort of a extra script tag. I don't know what this is, but obviously this was here for a reason. So let's go back. to the very top and see what's in here. Now this already has different title tags so we need to ensure that this is displaying something else in a little bit. Let's leave the style sheet in there. Uh, we don't need this since it wasn't in there. We're gonna keep 
this tag this is the Google Analytics tracking and we got our form so let's squeeze in our Java just above this Java there we go and let's go fetch the bottom Java as well which is right here so we're gonna copy this whole thing and paste it right here save it refresh it and now it should work 